folks this video is about a remote controlled grogu that i've only just found out about i don't know how i missed this one folks i really do not because this is 100 percent up my street i just when i found out about it yesterday i was shrieking it's awesome absolutely awesome apparently it's been out for about seven months now i was in the toy shop the other day folks uh you might have seen that video and i actually saw this remote control uh grogu and i didn't even know that that's what it was when i saw this I thought it was the metal soft toy that people, where people were buying it and taking the head off and the hands and giving it a new body. And I was thinking, that's a bit pricey, £52. I had no idea that this was remote control. I just saw the Mattel logo because I thought, oh, I wonder what this is. And then I saw the Mattel logo and I thought, oh, yeah. This has got to be the one that people buy to take the head and the limbs off and give a new body. And I thought, £52 for a soft ba baby Yoda. Well, folks, little did I know that this is by Mattel, but that Mattel have brought out a remote control version. And I would have bought it in the shop the other day if I had any idea about this i mean the only thing that gives you any indication is it says real moves plush but there's nothing on the box to show that it's a remote control toy and even the remote the remote control is fantastic uh, i love it and uh, i'll show you um close up of that later folks but Looking at this in the box, you can't even see the remote control. I don't know why Mattel has packaged it up this way so that you can't differentiate it from the other uh, Grogu's that are just soft toys. Uh, that makes no sense to me. They should have been making a big fanfare out of it. You should, they should have had the, the uh, remote control where you could see it clearly so that you immediately think, oh, what's that? But no, you could just make out the, the top of the remote control, little white white uh, knob, little white button. It's crazy how they've packaged it. So, and I can see in the background there, there's a little arrow with the Grogu standing up and it must be like indicating it turns around, but... You can't really see that. You certainly don't notice it unless you're looking for it. So, uh, yeah, I was um, a bit sore when I found out that this is actually a fantastic remote control Grogu. And I could have bought it the other day for £51. Uh, as it is, I didn't want to walk all the way back up to the Arneson Centre in the rain. So I went on to um, Amazon and I ordered it from Amazon but paid £4 more to order it from Amazon and it's due to come or to arrive on Friday. So I'll tell you a bit more folks about this wondrous grogu. So, first of all, there's the remote. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? You you, you put it on your, um, your wrist and uh, it's all like colour coded for the different commands that you can give Grogu. And I just love it. I love it so much. Why, oh, why, oh, why have they not highlighted this in the box? You can't even see it in the box when it's on the shelf in the shop. Don't get that. It's wondrous. I love it. So now to talk about the actual Grogu figure itself. 
So obviously he interacts with his wrist communicator and he can, um, he's on wheels, he can move around, but he also has moving head and moving ears that you can control with the remote control by using the orange button. And it, it's really, really awesome. Then the purple button on the remote operates the force hand action. And this is pretty hysterical. Uh, so he raises his hand and it kind of, his, his arm kind of shakes. <laughs> it sort of vibrates. It's uh, very amusing. So yeah, love that too. And then we've got the yellow button, which uh, initiates the follow. So while wearing the remote, the child will follow you around the room. Now I can imagine some great setups using the remote and getting uh, little Grogu to follow it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have so much fun with that. The next button is the blue button and that button um, puts Grogu in a state where he will play hide and seek. You go and hide and he will come and find you. I'm going to just be obsessed with this, folks. And the final button is the green button, which initiates sounds from the Grogu, which are really cute. And the final thing on the remote control is the joystick. So you can use the joystick to move the child forwards. You can move, make the child move backwards. And you can make the child move from side to side and go in a circle. So you've got like a, a remote control functionality um, where you, you know, you get them to use a force, you're getting them to move around just as you want. Um, you're moving his head and his ears. And then you've got these modes that you can put them in where he's like using sensors um, to do things like follow you. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love it so much. And I'm so excited about it arriving on Friday. So I'll be doing a box opening on Friday, folks. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of follow up videos exploring all that this little guy can do if youtube decides to disable comments on this video uh, feel free folks to comment put a comment on a different video about this grogu um i just gonna finish off with a bit of footage from the video i made when i was shopping when I showed uh, this Grogu up on the shelf and I was saying, don't know which Grogu this is. Well, I realised now that this was the um, soft toy metal Grogu. Um, the Grogu that people buy and take the head and the limbs off and put new body on. And that one was £28. So that's about it for this video, folks. Uh, thanks for watching as always and look forward to Friday when I'll be able to do this unboxing and share this lovely little grogu with you. So for now folks, bye for now.